If you have a hummingbird feeder, you'll know that ants love to get to that sugary mix. And they'll figure out where it is and they'll climb great distances to get to it. Most have an ant moat like this to prevent the ants from getting to it. But the problem is, is that they dry up very quickly. Let me show you how to easily make one that'll hold water for a lot longer. So you can make a small ant moat or you can make a large ant moat, whatever you like. You can use one of these 2 liter pop bottles, a 1 liter pop bottle, or one of these smaller ones. And it can be green or clear. So the first thing you want to do is remove the label. Then just cut the top of the bottle off following this line. These pop bottles are easy to cut. It's just getting started that's the hard part. So take a utility knife with a nice sharp point on it, put it on the bottle and start rocking it back and forth and it'll push right through the plastic. Now just take a pair of scissors and cut the rest. This step isn't necessary, but sometimes the top edge can be a little rough after you've cut it. Let me show you a way to fix that. A no-stick fry pan works best. Put the heat on medium to low. Then once the pan is heated, take the pop bottle and run it around in the pan for a five count. One, two, three, four, five. And when you're done, you'll have this nice rounded smooth edge. If it didn't work the first time, try it for another four or five seconds. Now get a coat hanger and cut the bottom straight part off. About 10 inches long is just perfect. Next, drill a hole in the cap smaller than the diameter of the coat hanger. You want to have a little bit of a resistance fit. Now cut out a piece of cardboard about 5 inches long and use the coat hanger to poke a hole in the center of it. Now wiggle and push the coat hanger in until the cap is halfway. Thread the cap on and then stand it up in the bottle that you had previously cut off earlier. So now get your thoroughly heated hot glue gun and push the rod to the side and then take the glue gun and fill in right down by the cap about a half to three quarters of an inch. Try not to get any hot glue on the sides. If you do, it'll distort it and it won't be round. Now use your cardboard and slide it over the rod and use it to move back and forth and get the rod nice and straight. At about the five minute mark you can take the cardboard off and you can check to see how straight it is. If it's not, just move the rod because the hot glue will still be a little bit soft. And the final step is to bend the ends. And if you bend the ends in the same direction, it'll hang straight up and down. And here's the three using the two liter bottle, the one liter bottle and the smaller one. And if you're interested in one of these hummingbird feeders, I'll have it linked in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the dinger to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.